My brothers and I were recently contacted by Veronica from South Chicago, claiming her and her children have been under attack by something dark and evil. Sean and I have traveled up to Chicago to meet with Veronica and see if we can help her find answers. Veronica has spent the last four years documenting her paranormal encounters through her home security system. So is this the first time you've ever talked on camera about everything? Yes. I don't... I don't want to, like, give it more attention and... I don't know, piss it off, I guess. In 2016, I moved in. Just stuff started happening. Just usually started with just, like, a bunch of weird noises. But then it just kind of, like, progressed. With like my kids waking up, more stuff happened, and that's when I started like actually believing in stuff because it just all the stuff that the cameras picked up with like everything and all the noises and just my kids crying and just everything. And then after that, just more and more stuff happened, and my cameras picked up a lot more, and people would come over and they would see stuff, and then. It just got really scary and I had paranormal investigators come over. The first time they came over, the one guy felt something like touch him by the closet. I've tried getting a lot of help and no one can seem to even help with any of it. I've had mediums come numerous times. I've had the pastor come numerous times, the minister come. And then we moved eventually after everything that was caught on camera. And then we moved here. Like it started here, right? Like right when I moved in, stuff started. You could still like feel stuff and hear stuff and like get that feeling you're being watched. When my kids would always cry and wake up, and my son would always point at the walls and talk to nothing. He would just stand there and talk to the wall like there was somebody there and there was literally nobody there and he would just cry and point and there was nobody or nothing there. It picks up motion detection and it'll like send me the alerts on my phone. The footage you are about to watch was aired on a Travel Channel episode a few years ago. Several video experts as well as paranormal experts have all agreed the video footage is authentic and has not been tampered with. You can clearly see this transparent female figure opening the door. We seen that and I was like, 
You could literally tell me that it's like a camera error or like anything else or like interference or something. Like I will, I'll believe you just to believe you because I don't want to believe this. And they can't. Something else opening the door and his hand not even touching the door, but it opening. And he even said that like he remembers like not opening the door. You can see him like turn around and look behind him in the video in that one and he even said that he felt something behind him and like you can hear everything so like and he was the only person there this second video clip shows the same man leaving the front door again as he is followed by what appears to be an elderly woman and you can see him turn around and like because he, he even said he felt something behind him but there's there was no one there there was no one else there he's leaving there's something else there it disappears both of my kids got locked in the room, we tried to open the door, and the door was stuck. If something bad happened. Take a walk in the dark and then stay I'm not even moving it. You're finally moved. This door stopped. Get the fuck out of here. It took all three of us to break down that door. It took three of us to break it down, to just to break it off the frame, to get in there, to get to my kids. They still have nightmares. Um, my oldest is the one that's affected the most. He still has nightmares now, and he'll describe things that he shouldn't. He's had marks left on him. He's had scratches and bruises, and it shouldn't be doing that at all. My Wi-Fi is actually not even connected because I didn't do anything with and that camera is not hooked up to the Wi-Fi yet. The Wi-Fi is not set up. 20 minutes into Veronica's interview, you can see the security camera in the living room turn and focus on us. Verifying that the cameras were not connected to the Wi-Fi, we were unable to explain why they suddenly focused on us. Almost every day I wake up with a new bruise or mark. I won't sleep without every light in my house on now. I have nightmares also. I cry a lot, I guess. And uh, I don't like it here. I mean, I have to FaceTime him just to sleep. And what are you feeling right now? Stupid. Crazy. Why I was nervous about you guys coming, like I told you, is the last paranormal team that came. They just sat in my kids' room and all they did was just talk a lot of crap and try to make it mad and uh, you know, that made me mad because I'm like, you know, you guys don't understand what it's doing here and to me and my kids and you guys get to go home. You guys don't have to stay here and deal with the aftermath. So, you know, you guys get to leave. We're stuck here. So, um, I actually just recently reached out to a priest. He said he was going to come over and he blew us off. And then I actually went to the church and, uh, blew me off again so and then everybody else just says that they want a lot of money that I don't have to just to help and it's like I get it you know you want to be paid for your service but it's like I don't I don't have that and it's like I also don't know what to do but I know that my kids pretty much telling me that like something sitting on his bed at night and tricking him into thinking it's me and it's leaving bruises and scratches on him and it's the same thing leaving bruises on me and you know but no one no one can help you scratch me i scratched you in your dream yes not to what happened when i'm right here in my arm he's broken it it's him since sleeping. He's on my bed. He got me boozing. He's chicken me. 
is tricking you? Yes. I have to close my eyes and open my eyes and see you. What is that? Go. We're going to leave. Go. We're leaving. Just go. Go. We're going to leave. It's terrible. I feel like I can't even protect my own kids with this shit. Like, how do you, like... I, I can stand up to somebody that's physically in front of me. And it's physically here. I can't... I can't do that to something that's not physically here. Like... That plays games like it, it. Do you need help? Are you stuck here? Move the camera if you need help. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. You can see shadows. Uh, you've heard it respond to you on camera. You've seen it like walking in my hallway. Me and my oldest have woken up with scratches and bruises, terrible smells. My friends have witnessed stuff. Um, all of my electronics just, just don't work anymore. My phone, my internet, but nobody else's are affected. My neighbor has the exact same internet as I do. See and hear things a lot. And like, even before I hooked my cameras up, like, I had FaceTime with like Jay and I would tell him, like, you know, I'd, like, I can feel something, like, in the hallway by the bathroom, like, and I just feel like something's, like, right there looking at me. I feel like someone's, like, right there watching me. It's not a friendly thing, and I definitely don't know anybody that would want to do this to a kid. All the stuff that doesn't work and all the nightmares and bad smells and bad luck and it all points to not a good spirit like you know and there's another one that just moved by itself yeah i just want to go away and that's why I didn't want, like, everyone keeps saying, like, call these TV shows and go on TV and have them do this type of stuff. And I don't want that because I didn't want to be on TV. I didn't want, you know, people that just want TV ratings and footage. I just want, I want help. I don't want it to go away. But I'm terrified of being here. Like, I fucking hate it here. Not wanting to push Veronica too far, we decided to end the interview and begin our investigation. During the entire investigation, Sean and I would experience several equipment malfunctions. Our batteries that would normally last several hours would be drained within minutes. I think it shut off about halfway through. And that's some of the stuff that you're experiencing is your cell phones, the Wi-Fi, the TVs, anything electronic is malfunctioning inside this place. Yeah. Did you cause our camera to go off? I want to move over to that, the kid's bedroom. What part of the house do you think feels the creepiest to you? Right where you're standing. The hallway? Yeah. I thought this room had a stranger feeling. Whoever you are, we want you to show yourself. Make yourself known for us. My name is Josh. This is Sean. We're here tonight to talk to you. Do you have a message? Uh, 
I feel like this room you get, you know how you get that kind of like fun house effect where you feel like you can't stay on balance. Do you guys feel that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big time. I'm over here swinging. Come in here and talk to us, please. That was a hallway. You heard that? Mm-hmm. I smell something there too, right here. It's where you can walk, like right in this bathroom, like right where you can see it, because you can see it from our beds where you can feel it like staring. Oh, when I was in the bathroom earlier, I didn't smell anything. You but, won't. But right here, you could definitely. Are you in this hallway? You've got to talk to us. We're just here to talk to you. Are you hurting Veronica and her children? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Sound like kitchen, doesn't it? We're not going to chase you. you got to come in here with us. Her footsteps. Not for sure if I just seen something, but almost looked like a flash or something off to the right edge. Yeah. It looked like it was right off to the left of your shoulder. I've got a device here that'll help you communicate with us. If you try really hard, we can hear you. Are you inside this house right now? Yes or no? Can you tell me your name? Like, hey, it's Jessica. Can you tell me your name? Like, hey, it's Jessica. Who are you? Are you a man or a woman? It's like man. Yeah. What is your name? What is in that? Is that a closet? It's the laundry room. Oh. The, other doors, the other door is easier, but yeah, you gotta pull them hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I heard something. Can you hit something really hard for us and let us know you're in here? Can you say one of our names? Are you in this room? Where are you at? Are you following Veronica? Why are you following her? And in their mind. You know they don't want you here. We want you to leave. Are you able to leave? We get that one spot that feels weird. You want to try asking anything? Me? Yeah. So I'll move over here and get a camera on her. Did it say that it was in my mind on your spirit box? Mm -hmm. Why are you here? What was 
Delta. Back with him. Do you know what you're doing is no good? We want to know why you're here. A terrible. Let me try that other camera and see if we can. Let me. I'm gonna set this here real quick. Let me grab that other camera and. Yeah, twice now on the screen. I've seen something about this tall. Let's see if we can map out a ghost. Just remember, I'm trying to. No, I'm recording the screen. Just record the. I don't need you recording the screen anymore. Just shoot oh. night vision. I was standing here and there was something in the kitchen. Can you back up a little bit, Sean? Can you show yourself again? I seen you earlier. I know it's going to come back up. I just need to be patient. I want to just read them for a little bit. Who is the little spirit I keep seeing? Can you walk over by the bed? I literally want whatever that was to show back up on the camera. Are you in the bathroom? Please show yourself. Your camera's moving. Again, we would hear the security camera move in the living room. Are you messing with the cameras? If you're in the living room, show yourself. So if it moves the camera, do you think it's got to be close to the camera or, or just like electronically doing it? Was it like whatever you saw, was it like this tall? Yeah, it was tall, about that tall. That's how tall it was right behind my couch in my video that I have it that I was telling you about that you can't free, it moves so fast you can't freeze frame it even when oh. you do frame by frame. Well, both times I've seen it, I didn't have the record thing going just yet. I've got you mapped out. I'm just trying to see if anything comes up near you. I'm here. Where are you? together for the third time during the investigation the security camera moves facing us our hope is to document whatever or whoever is messing with the cameras on video nobody was ready for what we were about to document we hear you over there come stand in the middle of the room please 
I want to see you. Can you go over by the couch? Oh, got it. Can you go over by the couch? Oh, got it. I see you. It's on the couch. You're on this couch right here, right? Right in front of me? Is that the right couch, Sean? Yeah. Can you move off the couch? I knew I would get it, just have to be patient. It's like its legs are laying across the couch. You can clearly see the spirit laid out on the couch, its head on the arm of the couch, and its feet propped up on the other arm. And that was the exact same time that uh, camera. Did you guys hear the camera right before that? Yeah. Did you hear me say I got goosebumps right then? <laughs> and I got the chills? Can you move off the couch? It's like it's waving or something. Mm -hmm. I don't see it. Go back, get them a wide shot this Josh. hole. Get a wide shot of all of. I've got a camera filming in there. Oh, okay. It's like it's laying on the couch. Look at that. You see that? Yeah. See right here's the couch, and it looks like it's just laying across the couch. I'm trying to figure out which. Why are you laying on the couch? Anybody brave enough to sit on the couch right there? Jay will. Okay. <laughs> Would you say you're recording over there, Josh? They just get a wide shot. I don't know if. <clears throat> which couch do you like? I now? think it's this one right here. Right there in front of you? Yeah. Does it matter which seat? Yeah, right there in front of you is where you need to be. You're sitting on. <gasps> it's you gone. Dude, you're going to piss him off, Jay. You're going to piss him off. Oh, yeah. It moved the minute you sat down. It's gone. Where did you go? Okay, stand up for a second, Jay. Can you go back to the couch now? We're sorry, we didn't mean to sit on you. Oh, it's back. I did. It was back. Go back to the couch. Now it's on the other couch. It's on the couch. Josh, it's on the far couch. I know, I'm trying to get it. All the way over, the, the, you know where Sean was sitting during the interviews, Jay? Yeah. just had is where Jay was sitting on the couch. Come sit next to Jay. Please. It was something. Yeah. Sean, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard something. I don't know, it's gone. Oh, what it's like whatever, once he sat there, it left. And then when you stood up, I told it to sit back down, it came back and sit back down. Whoa, did you hear that? I did. Yeah, a growl or something, yeah. I don't know what the fuck that was. It's all it's all in here in this room. It was not my stomach, I swear to God. Hey Josh. Can you
Can you set that up when you yield and you sit on the couch and we'll walk downstairs outside? Yeah, I just, I need some lights on real quick. Let's restart these. I need some lights real quick. Okay, I gotta make sure I, I need to make sure I save this first. Yeah, you can get up, you're fine. This this is picking up audio and everything. And you guys can hear it, like <clears throat> say shit later. Yeah, yeah. I need some. You need, I need light? some light. Is that gonna hurt you if I turn the light on? No, yeah, I'll shut the night vision off. It's fine. That's pretty crazy. The minute you sat down, it got up and left. Did you feel any different when you sat down, Jack? No. Too mad to be. And then the minute you got up, it appeared right back on the couch moved over. but moved over to this side could be afraid uh, I don't know if we, uh... it could be if you have if you have that strong energy oh, yeah. it definitely could my name's josh We seen you earlier. You were sitting right here on this couch. Can you come in here with me? What is your name? Can you tell me who lives in this house? We're going to do a cleansing here tonight. Yes, we are. Yes. We're going to help you cross over. Show yourself. Where's the kid? What is the kid's name? Can you see me? I don't think you're a child. Are you back here? Please show yourself. They say that you sit on this bed. Do you sit on the child's bed? Can you come over here and touch me, please? You gotta tell us why you're here.
we can help you tonight. Do you need help? We seen you. Show yourself right now, please. If you're a demon, we're not afraid of you. We're coming for you. Tell me your real name right now, please. Back in the boys' bedroom. Is, it, is there anybody in this room with me? What's your name? Do you come in this room a lot? The hell is that? Hey Josh, come back here and go with me real quick. Seriously, I don't know what the hell this shit was. I was just talking to me. Sit down for a minute. Hey, I'm back. I got Josh in here. Are you in here with us? How, how many people's in here with us? We're gonna make you leave tonight. Yes, we can. You're gonna leave Veronica alone, you're gonna leave the kids alone. I don't think you're a child. Was that you on the couch? Did you come from the other house? Yes. Did you all come from the other house? Uh, that's, that's, that's what I go by is Ronnie. I think what we'll do is just do the cleansing, go over the evidence we have. Even with the session we just did, it's like multiple spirits for whatever reason. Okay, so we're going to start the cleansing now. We're going to work from Veronica's bedroom to the children's bedroom and just work our way through the house. We've got a window 
that's opened out front. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask that you protect us and defend us. We ask that you watch over Veronica and her children and just keep them safe while they live inside this house. And you push out all the negative and evil energy from inside this house. We're gonna seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Cast out all evil and negative energy inside this house. We seal this doorway with the sign of the cross and fill all this darkness with the light of the Holy Spirit. We seal this doorway with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus. Close all entryways, doorways, and portals with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. We seal this bed with the sign of the cross. Lord, we just ask that you please keep the children safe. Stop their nightmares. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we cast you out. Any spirits here, go be at peace. You can go be at peace and be free now. We want you to leave this family alone. Stop hurting them. Stay out of their dreams. Lord, we seal this room with the sign of the cross and your blood. We opened the other window, right? Yes. I'm gonna hit the stairwell. Lord, we seal this doorway and this threshold with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any and all spirits, we command you in the name of Jesus, leave this house and leave this family alone. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. You must leave. You are forever banished. We seal this door, the sign of the cross, and the blood of Jesus. We seal this house tight forever in the name of Jesus Christ.